Hello everybody, today for Vlogmas Day 12, I'm gonna be making a really festive recipe that is inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. If you've ever seen uh, Simon and Martina from the channel Simon and Martina, you know that Martina has her famous Martina's Midnight Munchies, which is where she makes recipes usually during the late hours of the night. So you're gonna see me try one of her recipes that's very festive. I'm gonna be trying out her eggnog recipe for the very first time ever. I've been wanting to try this recipe out for years, but I've never actually like done it. So follow me along as I show you how to make this eggnog. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is get a pot that's big enough to fit four cups of whole milk. I'm using whole milk, but I'm pretty sure you can use either almond milk or any other type of milk, but that's the one that Martina used, so that's the one I wanted to use. Then I added a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna bring that not to a boil, but definitely a very, very gentle simmer. You're gonna wanna add about four to eight cloves, depending on how spicy you like it. I added about seven, just because I wanted to be really fragrant and aromatic and really flavorful. Um, these cloves weren't that strong because I feel like they were older, so if they're older, then they're not gonna be as strong. So now, in three separate containers, you're gonna separate the whites from the yolks and you're gonna do that for 12 eggs. I suggest using impeccably clean hands to do this because it's the easiest way and I also recommend that you take out your eggs about an hour before you start cracking them because that will make them separate so much faster. As you can see, you have to be very, very careful and I do recommend doing this in batches because if you get any of the egg white into the yolks, it will ruin the whole thing and you're gonna have to start over. So it's best to be careful and cautious and do it in small batches. And you can save the egg whites to make, I don't know, an omelet or something else. This is the most time consuming part of the whole recipe. That's why we advise you to take your eggs out before you start cracking them and separating them because that will make them easier to separate. But also it's advised that you start cooking your milk before you start cracking the eggs because that way when the milk comes to the right temperature, you can just cream your sugar and your egg yolks together and just temper the eggs and the process will go by way way faster so now using a stand mixer i'm going to start creaming my sugar and my egg yolks together i'm adding about a cup of white sugar and what you want is to have a very velvety very thick and creamy texture as you can see it has to be like thick enough so once you're done creaming the sugar and the egg yolks together you have to go and check on your milk mixture you have to make sure that it doesn't boil over because it's milk and it's very very sensitive to heat all you want is for it to be below boiling just at a gentle simmer Now you're gonna wanna temper your egg yolks by adding the milk, some of the milk mixture really slowly. I like doing this while I'm using the mixer because it makes it so much easier. What you want is just to bring the egg mixture to temperature so that it, when you add it to the rest of the milk mixture, it doesn't curdle. Cause once it's curdled, there's no going back and you're gonna have to start over. But thankfully mine worked perfectly. After you're done adding all of your egg mixture to your milk, you're going to want to cook it for about 3 to 5 minutes so that it can thicken. And once it's thickened, you're going to want to cool it down in the refrigerator for about 1 hour. Now that our eggnog is in the, in the fridge, we have to just let it cool down for about an hour. We're going to add the half and half and then we're going to mix it together, put it in the fridge overnight. And in, in the morning or in about four hours after we add the, the half and half, it should be ready. So now after it's been in the fridge for about one hour, you want to mix it up so that you can get all the cinnamon from the bottom. And you're going to want to strain your mixture so that you can get rid of all the cloves and the leftover cinnamon that didn't get incorporated. To this mixture, you're going to add four cups of half and half make sure that it's half and half and not heavy whipping cream because if you add heavy whipping cream it's gonna be too thick 
So once we add the half and half, we're going to add one teaspoon of nutmeg or you can add less or more depending on how you like it. And then to that, we're also going to add one more table, one more teaspoon of vanilla extract. In her video, Martina describes her eggnog as what she imagines butterbeer tasting like in the real world. I mean, I've tasted butterbeer in the real world and it's very artificially flavored. So this will definitely be a step up for me. So I'll show you what it tastes like in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. So now we're going to make our coffee with some eggnog and we're going to try it. I'm adding a shot of espresso to my eggnog to give me that perfect combination of morning rush with Christmas cheer that we're all looking for during this time of the year. Okay, so let, let's try our eggnog with some espresso. This is amazing. Oh my god. I'm so happy, you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Martina, for your recipe. You guys literally have to make this at home. It's amazing with the coffee. If you don't want it with coffee, you can also try it with rum. I would suggest using only dark rum. You guys have to try this recipe. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas Day 12. And as always, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel so that and to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And as always, happy Vlogmas.